टुडे वी आर ऑन द लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द मास्टर डिटेल प्रोजेक्ट दिस इज द होल लिस्ट ऑफ चैप्टर्स फॉर दिस प्रोजेक्ट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर वी हैड इंट्रोडक्शन देन मॉडल क्लासेस देन स्टार्टअप क्लास देन इंडेक्स रेजर पेज देन वी डिस्कस्ड द टीचर्स रेजर पेज एंड इन द लास्ट वन we discussed the backing class for the publications model for the publications reserve page and today we are going to conclude this chapter with the publications reserve page this is your solution explorer and this publications reserve page was added in the last lecture even and this is the backing class that we have discussed in the last lecture and today we are going to discuss this page publications.cshtml we are going to complete this page double click that to open it and let me explain the various parts of this page this is the add page directive this is the model directive it connects the backing class to this page this is the tag helper this tag helper line this is required for proper functioning of the input tags and anchors and the various form elements so this is the basic plumbing and on this razor page we will be accessing the various properties that have been created on the publications model backing class so let me first give a summary of a review of all the properties for this publications model the properties that we have created in the last lecture and the properties that we will be using this time so this is an extract of the backing class that we discussed in the last lecture there we had three properties one is the bind property supports get for teacher id this contains the query string or the email id of the teacher then we have the bind property for publication this property is used for the data entry form for the publication this is posted back and this contains the data of the publication when a new publication is being created then we have a property for the teacher this contains the entire data of the teacher his name etc plus the list of his publications this is only the email id but this is the complete data of the teacher these are the three properties that we will be using on this razor page and we have already created them in the last lecture so let us have a look at the whole razor page now this is the heading tag this heading tag forms the heading part of the page publications of model dot teacher dot name teacher is a property on the model and the teacher has a name property this displays the name of the teacher this is the pipe this is that pipe and this is the anchor tag this anchor tag it will take you back to the teachers page so this is a sort of a simple menu after that we have to display this table and if model dot teacher dot publications dot count is more than 0 this is the teacher or the model that we created that i showed you just now teacher has a publications property that contains the list of publications of this teacher if there are publications then we show the table otherwise this else will operate and no data exists will be shown so let me now come to the uh, table this is the first tr this corresponds to this header here we have written tr th html dot display name for display name for display name for this display name for is used to display the name of the property for example model dot publication dot name the name of this property this property the name of this property is name so it is shown here the name of isbn property is isbn so it is shown here then we have date of publish the name of the property is date of publish but we have shown this because we created an attribute on data publish and we wrote that attribute as display name is equal to date 
uh, is equal to published on this way so this means that display name for will pick the name of the property if display name is equal to is not not written is not specified if display name is equal to is specified then instead of this the actual value is shown here when you use display name for model goes to model dot publication publication is a property on the model one of the three properties and on the publication we have a data publish further property the name of the data publish is not shown because we wrote display name is equal to this we can have a look at the uh, picture also this is the this is the model for table on this model we have one property data of publish data publish as display format or oh, sorry uh, display name name is equal to published on this is appearing here because HTML dot display name for now in this case for the name property we have display name is equal to name so this name is appearing here in case of ISBN we have not specified the display property the display attribute so this ISBN is used as such so this is how display name for works it is used for creating the displayable name of the property after this heading let us come to the data part this data part we run a for each loop on the model dot teacher dot publications collection this tr this has html dot display for this is display for this is display name for display for this will display the data corresponding to the name property in this collection isbn the value of the isbn property data publish property display for will display the data for the property and it will format that if we have established display format attribute if display format attribute is given on the model property then the date the format for that is used for example you can see data publish the data publish is in a special format it is in a special format because data publish property was attributed then attribute was put that told that the format would be this format so let me show you how this is an extract of the publications property that we have in the models folder and let us now have a look at it this is data publish on this data publish we have a display format attribute display format date for data format string is ddmmyy so it is because of this data format ddmm like that it is because of this for data format string that the data is appearing in this typical format and display for so display for data publish it will display the data for this property and it will apply format if display format is specified if you have a look at the name property here we have not displayed set any display format so it will not display it will show exactly what is stored in the database similarly for ISBN we have required column but we have not specified the display format so it will display the data of the ISBN property as it is stored in the database but in case of this one the format is applied because of display format so this is all about display for so display for will use the display format and display name for will use the display name is equal to whatever to pick the readable name of that property and then after that we have no data exists the else part if there is no data then this will be shown like this and after that we have this data entry form
this is the data entry form and this is the table that I use. This is the TR. TR means this row. So label ASP for publication dot name. Publication dot name, publication dot name, publication dot name. This row is for the name property of the publication property. See publication dot name. This picks the readable name of the property. The readable name of the property is name. Had we specified display name is equal to then it would have shown this one as you can see in the case of published on and after that that you have as input asp for this is the input tag this is sorry this is the input the input element this input element is connected to the name property of the publication so the data here will go into the name property and this will display the display of the name property for readability and then there is a span also span asp validation for publication dot name style color red empty this span will be used for the, by the validator if there are some validation errors for example we have written required if a user keeps it blank and submits add then a red message will be automatically displayed by asp.net core and it will say name is required this is for the server side validation if you remember if not model dot is valid then we returned that return page so this story automatically fills this message here for that you can refer the previous lecture where I have explained in detail how this part will operate and you can have a better look also this is the backing class this is the teacher ID property this is the publication property bind property see this publication is bound to this form this publication is bound to this form because this we have written publication dot name so this binds to the name property of publication publication dot isbn binds to the isbn property and this binds to the date of publish so these fields are bound to the three properties of publication and this publication will be populated according to these values this input publication dot name publication dot isbn and date of publish input and this and why is this appearing as a date because we set the data type on the attributes as date that is why this is appearing as a date and in the end we have the submit button and you will also remember that we are saving a publication we are saving a publication we also need to tell the foreign key so here we are sending the foreign key teacher ID of the publication model publication model has a teacher ID as the foreign key this teacher ID protect a publication dot teacher ID this is sent as a hidden type picked from model dot teacher ID so this teacher ID property is used to put this value of the publication so for the publication your teacher ID is bound data publish ISBN and publication dot name so all the four properties of the publication are bound three visible and one hidden and when you submit this submit button the data is saved to the database so this is the whole form that you can go through and obtain the source code from me if required run the project when you run the project you can see the various parts of the project they will work as expected and this completes the project you can obtain the source code from me or better you can type it all yourself that is much better thank you